Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. Now, now I'm going to be showing you a few applications and a few other extensions and plugins that you can download on your Mac. They'll definitely help you uh, if you're definitely switching over from a PC over to a Mac. Help make your transition a little bit better as far as playing, some, playing, playing back some of your media files like your music and your videos. And also a couple of things that help just make uh, little tweaks that can, you can do to your uh, Mac OS 10 and to make it run a little smooth and make a little couple of tricks for you. Um, but the first thing I say everybody's going to download, come, especially coming from a PC, is Firefox. Now, if you're um, a once PC user and all you use with Internet Explorer, then you're definitely behind the times. Firefox is the browser to use right now for surfing the web. It is faster, it is more secure, and it has a lot more extensions, meaning that you can um, enhance your experience by having a couple other things downloaded in the browser itself to do certain things and certain tasks. Um, but Firefox is good. Um, so Safari does come with a Mac. It is made by Apple. That's the second best browser right now, to be honest. But Firefox is probably the one you need to download. Now, Tweety. Tweety is a, a Twitter application. It's a native Twitter application because everybody right now is on Twitter. Your mama, your grandma, um, you are. Everybody's on Twitter right now. And Tweety will allow you to keep up to date with your people you're following and also send out your tweets straight from your desktop, not having to go to the website. Um, VLC. VLC is a media player which allows you to play almost every different type of file or media file format out there, especially Windows Media uh, formats. Okay, so quick, quick time right off the bat doesn't really play everything. So you need to download a couple more extensions for that. I'm going to show you here in a second. But VLC is a straight media player that you can use your external hard drive, drop, drag and drop whatever file you have, and it'll start playing it. So it's pretty good to have, even on standby. Now, um, keeping with the same subject, um, there are two things, Flip for Mac and also Perian, P-E-R-I-A-N. Now, these two um, plugins or extensions, if you want, um, again, do what VLC does, but allows you to do it straight in QuickTime. So this gives QuickTime the ability to do to play in the majority of the formats out there. Um, and also Flip for Mac allows you to play if you go to a website that and it has still Windows Media content on there for some reason. Uh, you'll allow, you'll be able to play it back in that. But these are just two things that mandatory that you're never going to see again once you download. You download it one time and just make sure that you're compatible to play any type of for file format that you'll need to. All right. And next up is going to be Open Office. Open Office is the Microsoft Office equivalent for the Mac, but it's free. All right. So this is not developed by Apple, but it's developed by third parties, which are, I mean, Sun Microsystems, which is pretty good. I mean, it's a darn, darn good comparison to Microsoft Office. So you can do a uh, text document presentation, uh, database, templates, um, spreadsheet, drawing, formulas, almost everything you can do in Microsoft Office, you can do in this. So most people just need to really need a, a good word processor, especially in college, you need to be able to type a, a paper up real quick. But as you can see here, this, here's the Microsoft Word equivalent in Open Office. It looks just almost just the same and it has just as many features as Microsoft Word does. All right, so this is free. You can download it. Just do a Google search for it. You'll find it. There's also a uh, Neo Office, which is a spinoff of Open Office, which is more visually appealing a little bit. I think Open Office overall has the, the biggest bang for the buck there since it is free. All right, and last but not least, Caffeine. Caffeine is a simple to use application that keeps your Mac from going to sleep. So right now you can see it's a little coffee cup and I have some um, some coffee in it right now, so caffeine. So now my Mac is not gonna go to sleep, so my, uh, my screen is not gonna dim, it's not gonna fade out, uh, it's not gonna go to sleep, so uh, I can come straight back to it. Once I sit down, my computer's still gonna be on. But say you're getting ready to go to bed for the night or you're getting ready to leave out and you want your computer to go to sleep, Click it one time and boom, it's gonna the coffee will disappear. You drink your coffee, however you wanna say it, but the coffee disappeared. Now your Mac will go to sleep in about a minute or two minutes or so. So all right, this has been a quick look at a few applications I think everybody should download on their Mac, especially new Mac users. If you have a couple of ideas for applications, leave a comment in this video, let us know. And I have been neglecting my YouTube giveaways, so be on the lookout for a couple more YouTube giveaways coming here soon. And they'll automatically be entered to those giveaways. All you have to do is to be subscribed to me. So if you're not, hit that yellow button, you'll be subscribed and be automatically into my giveaways and everybody else i will definitely catch you later peace